What's up, Diva fam, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Um, I don't know exactly what day it is in December right now at the moment, but we are in the midst of Vlogmas, so please make sure you guys keep an eye out for some giveaways going on this month. And I'm so excited to be in the holiday season and making sure I'm able to give back to you guys. So I will always let you guys know in the thumbnail, or maybe not, to make sure you guys are actually watching my videos, to know when there might be a giveaway. There could be a surprise giveaway, there could be an announced giveaway, you never know. Or also when I release my videos, maybe a few days later I'll let you know that there's a giveaway, but you guys are going to have to keep an eye open. You're going to have to watch all the content going on this month in November because again, I'm all about being thankful and being humble um, for you guys supporting me in my YouTube journey. So I appreciate you guys being here and let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Again, it is a trash talk video. Well, we are trash talking a lot of the products that I've either used up, haven't used up, wasn't sure if I liked, or something went wrong, then we need to talk about it. So let's just go ahead and jump into this video. So without further ado, you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to, and don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D, and let's just go ahead and get into this. All right, I'm gonna preface this off. I am sick. It is winter here in Indiana, and I've got all the drainage, you know, kind of going on right now at the moment, and my nose is stuffy. So I'm going to try to get through this video. I do have some tissues over here just in case. I've got my electrolytes with Gatorade. And hopefully we'll get through this. But anyways, this is your first time to my YouTube channel. I post videos two to three times a week. They are beauty, lifestyle, and makeup videos. I... Also, I'm a part of a collab group where we do makeup challenges every single month. That video just went up. It um, goes up the very last week of the month. So the one for November actually just went up, and then that one was really, really fun to do. And we've got three episodes left of season three, which is so crazy to say. Um, but yeah, and then I also do monthly giveaways, or a month every, like, every other month, or also depending on where I hit on my tier of subscribers. We are so close to... 1001 and again too excited that we were even in the thousand range finally it's been a crazy journey to get there but I appreciate every single one of you that watches my videos whether you like the video you comment on the video you're subscribed to my YouTube channel maybe you're not even subscribed and maybe you want to hit that notification bell you know subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future uploads but again if you're here you're supporting me you're watching this video so I appreciate you so so much so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this video and talk about the variety of different products that I finished, didn't finish, and whether I liked them or didn't like them. So there's so much in here. I'm just going to start off with the obvious one. You guys have heard me talk about these too many times. This is the, uh, oh my god, Makeup Wipes from Kroger. They're supposed to be the dupe for the Neutrogena ones. I really love these. I get them in a really huge, like, box of them. And I use Makeup Wipes... I don't know, it just depends. I Sometimes I use them like when I'm doing my videos and swatching stuff, that's pretty much where I use them. Sometimes I'll use them to take off my makeup if I don't feel like doing like a cleansing balm or like a spray to kind of melt my makeup away. So I just go in between. And sometimes I also like to bring these with me when I travel for work, which reminds me, I am almost done with my last pack and I leave in three days to go somewhere and I need more of these. And I forgot to go buy these today. so. There's that. That was dumb. I need to go buy more. I should have on my like adventures out today when I went to go buy all the lost supplies that I needed. Anyways, okay, so, but that's always a repurchase, always a rebuy. It's definitely worth it. Um, but a home item for the, you guys, if you guys can see this. Sometimes the lights are like really bright and blinding. Um, but this is one of those glad things, you know, you put in your bathroom. This is the Hawaiian scent. I love this. I will constantly keep repurchasing these, but not at full price. I buy them from the Dollar Tree, and they're just so good to put into your bathroom. So I will always repurchase this. Um, it's the Glade brand, like I said, and the Hawaiian scent is magnifique. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, next I have a candle. So this is the Fresh Bake Candle from Mainstays. This is Walmart. Now, I've had this candle before, and this scent is amazing. It comes around every single time when during winter, which I actually need to go repurchase some of those candles because we're in December now. Well, 
I think tomorrow's December 1st for sure but this candle it just would not burn right so like I couldn't even finish it I couldn't really use it and for some odd reason this because it wasn't burning right it wouldn't give off you know the fresh vanilla bake scent so I'm just sad that I have to get rid of this candle because it just it won't burn right unless anyone has any type of information down below on how to fix this that would be great but I tried I tried my hardest to like try and melt the wax down try and get it to um, without like ruining the candle but I just I couldn't fix it so if anyone knows how to fix a candle that won't burn right please let me know in the comments down below all right the next thing right here which is sitting on top which is very messy you guys can see right here it is the NYX fat oil so I don't know if it was me or the packaging but somehow when I was traveling I must have not closed these all the way and then they just became like gucky and like dried out and I don't know if that's just like the formula itself um, but that was my first time experiencing that with these two but I really really love the pigmentation in the NYX lip fat oil so these are great and I will be honest I've already actually repurchased this one this is like a brown shade the other one's like a pinky shade but scrolling was my favorite out of these two and I've already gone ahead and repurchased this one so these are definitely really really good if you've never tried them they're definitely definitely worth it uh, I've got some skincare items sitting up top so I've got two toners that I finally finished if you guys saw my um, video where I went through like my recent skincare routine these were the ones I was actually using but now I've moved on to other toners now that I've finished these ones I will say these ones actually made my skin it feel really really great why is this one leaking did I not like I don't know what it's doing there's a little bit still in there at the very very bottom just a few drops but this is the LMS superfood fruit vinegar liquid glow radiance facial toner I was using this every single night now I will say I do like how it has like the pump on the top but once you get down to the bottom and that that doesn't touch anymore now it, you can't get the rest of it out without having to take the lid off pour it onto the cotton pad then you're over pouring it so that was my only downfall about this one but I did really like the formula um, and how it's supposed to you know help out with the texture of your skin and help it glow and all that kind of stuff and then this is the one do of the gods this is the ultra tonic water extract facial toner um watermelon i'm sorry and again this one had aha vitamins hyaluronic acid and i did really like the way this one felt on my skin so sometimes i would do both of these because i just want the extra benefits and i love how smooth my skin has been feeling lately because of these products on top of this one right here this is the niacinamide serum by good molecules it has 10 percent niacinamide to refine signs of texture and improve the appearance of pores this one definitely i saw a difference between using a toner and incorporating that back into my skincare routine for the longest time i never even used toners and but the niacinamide to help out with the texture and also dark spots i definitely saw a difference especially in like some of my acne scarring that i had for the longest time this helps out so so much so for these two i got these in a subscription box um and i have plenty of other toners so i don't think i'll be repurchasing these two but this one the niacinamide by good molecules you can actually purchase at ulta and i've already gone ahead and repurchased this one and it's sitting back here i just need to put it out with the rest of my stuff and i'm good to go so skincare wise there's that another skincare item is the Mara Budescu facial spray with aloe, sage, and orange blossom. This is a full size one. I have like the medium size one here, and then the travel size one is like even smaller than this. But tried and true, this facial spray, I just feel like it hydrates the skin and it just, mm, they smell so good. And I always finish off my skincare with a facial spray. So I have constantly repurchased these over and over and over and over again and I constantly will um, until I can't find them on sale so there is that but I have some like nails sitting on top right here so I had the impressed nails these were the Halloween ones you can see there's like a mummy on this one they glue in the dark oh I love them so much but the only thing I hate about these ones is that they have the little sticky stuff on them I don't ever I don't like it I don't like the sticky stuff I just prefer like a blank nail where I can just put glue on and I feel like the glue like lasts 10 times better but I, I need to look up like a trick if they, the nails have this on here what to do um, because I also had another nail which was like they were like pink and silver 
and sparkly. You can't really tell in there, but they had like the magnetic velvet like effect. And I just love kiss nails and impression nails. I will always constantly repurchase them because I know. See, I will not go and get my nails done because it just takes too long. That's like an hour and a half out of your day just to sit there as someone just goes at your nails. And also, they're not great to have constantly in your nails because you don't get your nails to breathe. And I've had some traumatizing things happen to my nails in the past when I used to get acrylics all the time. So your girl just stays away from that. She's, I, just, I just stay away. Um, I've got a toothpaste here. This is one of my favorite toothpaste. This is the Colgate Opti Optic White with Charcoal. Removes five times more surface stains with micro polishing action. I constantly keep repurchasing this. I don't know why I like about it. I also like that it's like has that charcoal aspect. I don't know if charcoal really does anything, but I get it from the Dollar Tree and I just like it. So my fiance likes it too. So that's why I constantly keep buying it. Um, ooh. Deodorant. Girls, ladies, deodorant. Um, this is my favorite one. This is the Dove Advanced Care Invisible Cucumber and Cactus Water 48. No white marks, 100% color. And it just smells so good. So I actually buy this in bulk from Costco because you can get like a four pack or five pack cheaper than what you would get it from the actual like store like Walgreens or Walmart. And it's just, it's cost effective. It smells great. It feels great. Don't sleep on this. Plus also if you have the Fetch app, it's always on there to get like huge points when you buy certain things from Costco. If you're not using the Fetch app, first off, when you're purchasing stuff, you should be because why not reward yourself at the same time? You can scan in any type of receipt. If I have any type of like uh, activation thing or whatever it is, I will link it down below for you guys. But yeah, the Fetch app, super, super cool because you can scan any receipt and you get points and then certain amount of X amount of points you can switch into gift cards. So love that. Okay, what else do we got in here? I've got the Herbal Essence Total Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. I've actually repurchased this a few different times. Um, this one is the Mixed Berry Scent and it has the strong hold of three. All day, humidity protecting and frizz control. I do really love using this more or less during the summertime. During the winter time, I'm, I don't know. I go in between wanting to use this or uh, the Mark Anthony like curly cream stuff that I normally like to use because I just feel like in the summer when it's like we're hot and we're sweating I just need something that's going to give me a little bit of extra hold compared to the winter when it's like we're more in the dry time where I want something that's a little like lighter compared to a strong hold so but I have repurchased this plenty plenty of times and it smells so good so good and your hair smells good your hair smells good okay what else do we have in here? Some more kind of skincare stuff. So this is the Tree Hut Sugar, oh my god, Shea Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime. I think this is the one that my fiance picked out. I like this scent, but there are some better scents than this one, like the Watermelon one. Fantastic. Anything that is sweet, I love. Anything that has a, like, a light citrus smell, I love. This one, I was not a big fan of just because I'm not a big fan of coconut. Don't hate me, guys. I'm not a big fan of coconut. If you were a coconut lover, go you. But I am not. But still, I have repurchased Tree Hut plenty of times, and it is definitely a very, very good brand, especially when it comes to a body exfoliant. Then the last one I have in here, this one took me forever to finish. This is the Truly Acai uh, Your Boobies Lifting Boob Polish Firm and Tightening. I bought this a long time ago, and then I would go between using it so I don't really know if it truly worked on me because I didn't consistently use it for like 30 days to really see if it did or didn't um but if you know if it has please let me know in the comments down below because then I will purchase it if it truly works that I will challenge myself to use it for 30 days or consistently because I if you're a part of the big titty committee you would understand sometimes about the stretch marks that we have um and I need that extra firming and tightening for sure for the girls. So if it works and it's a miracle worker, please let me know in the comments down below. I have the Bye Bye Blow Digestive Enzyme Herb Supporting Digestive Health Normalizing. I actually really, really like this supplement so, so much. It definitely helped out with bloating. It helped out with water retention when I was in the beginning of my... Um, 
fitness journey it was helping me out a lot because I was drinking so much water um, I kind of like took a chill pill from drinking so much water I still drink water every single day but not as much as I was in the beginning now that I've lost 40 pounds I still need to get back to drinking water but I drink more Gatorade these days than I drink water so um, but I definitely drink mm, probably at least like two water bottles a day of water probably should be like 10 times better but I got I kind of, you know, had to pump the brake on drinking the, from the circle because uh, I just kind of like, kind of get tired of it and the flavors and stuff like that. So, but this definitely is a really good product by Love and Wellness. So if you have a problem with water retention, you should definitely pick this up, ladies. It's definitely very, very good. Okay, what else? Um, last skincare item I think that is in here that I see. Nope, there's two. Two skincare items. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge. 100H Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I got this as like a sample size, I think for like one of my birthday things from Ulta last year. And I just finally used it up because I've been traveling for work. I will tell you, I used all of it and it was amazing. It feels really, really good. Clinique has some really, really great products and I definitely think this is one of them. But again, I've got plenty of other stuff that I can use. Um, so I'm definitely not going to be using this or repurchasing it right now in the future because again I have so much skincare behind me it just makes no sense for me to repurchase some of that stuff um, this is the Ulta Beauty Youth Glow Primer with Hyaluronic Acid Acai Blueberry and Fruit Extract this is actually a really really great primer but I I don't know I just decluttered it because I don't know how old it is it still smells really really good it doesn't have like an expiration date on it so I was kind of just trying to figure out if I should still keep it use it if it was gonna be good but it just seemed like it was getting a little thick in there and when before it didn't used to move like that do you see how like it's not moving at all like it's not so that makes me think that it's expired which is why I'm getting rid of it but if you've ever wanted to try this it's definitely a really really good product My base um, this is the Pearlese Dragon Fruit Niacinamide Moisturizer in the travel size. This felt really great in my face too. I love the way it smells. It's supposed to give strength and boost radiance and improve texture for all skin types. So if I can get my hands actually on the larger size and I can get it through like the Ipsy site and at a cheaper cost, I actually would repurchase this for sure. Okay, what else? We've got some primers that are in here or also some facial sprays. So this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Setting Grip Spray. This is the travel size one. Um, I've just had this for God knows how long and it's pretty much almost at the end. So I figured I'd just go ahead and just toss it and get rid of it. It definitely is a really good setting spray, but at the same time, it's expensive. And I've got some other setting sprays that are in my collection that are, are like a third of the cost. Um, and it always just freaks me out about how it separates. I don't know what the ingredients are, why it separates, why you have to shake it. Um, but yeah, definitely a good makeup spray. If you ever want to try it out, I just buy the travel size first and not the big one. Um, and then that also goes for this one. This is the Poor Professional Setting uh, Super Setter. I actually have two of these. This is the first one I've finished. The other one I poured the last of this into the other one so it's kind of like filled that one back up again. But I do really like this setting spray. Um, but again, I've got more affordable ones, so maybe in the future I would purchase the full size one, just not right now. And then I've got two primers here. This is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base Silicone Free. So it feels like it's silicone, but it's not. I actually truly, really love this primer. I've used it all up. I definitely will see myself repurchasing it in the future because I don't like silicone primers, but I do like how it did blur the pores where I needed it to be without having that silicone feel on my face, if you know what I mean. So for a drugstore, this is amazing and definitely for the price as well. Then we have the Pore Professional Hydrating Primer by Benefit. I'm gonna be honest, this did not feel hydrating at all on my face. I did use it completely up um, and I would kind of mix it in with other products that were a little bit more on the hydrating side just to make sure I got the full benefit of using it. But I will not see myself repurchasing, per repurchasing this at all whatsoever because I did not feel the hydration of it. So I'm going to be honest, skip this. Unless you are a girly that is more on the oily side and you want something that's slightly hydrating, then I would say pick this up. But steer away from it. All right, we have a few products that are left in here, ladies and gentlemen, and then we're done. So last but not least, I have a setting powder. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I liked it, but I didn't love it. 
if you know what I mean. Like it didn't, it definitely set the face, but you can't really bake with this. Um, and I just, I don't know, I, the packaging itself too was weird because it does have this little sifter, how you can like change it, but it still was able to come through um, and like get all over everywhere. So packaging wise, it's okay. The formula wise, okay. It's not great. Um, there are some better drugstore ones that are out there when it comes to setting powders. So I would definitely pass on repurchasing this one um, or even trying it out. Unless you're curious and you want to do a full face of e.l.f., go for it. But it, is, it was not my jam. It was not my jam. So there is that. Is this empty? That is empty. Um, I have the LA Girl Shade Slim Brow Pencil. You guys have heard me talk about this multiple times. I actually just recently repurchased this. And then somehow I lost it somewhere here in my room. I have no idea where it is. Um, and I need to find it because this is my favorite brow pencil. And I have meant to go back and repurchase it yesterday. And I totally walked out of Ulta without it because I haven't been able to find it. Um, and I just love because it's actually, like it says, it is a very slim, thin eyebrow pencil. We can really get in there into those really fine flicks. And this is in blackest brown and it's super affordable. I think it's like $3.99 and is just as good as some of the high-end ones like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the one size. Definitely this gives people a run for their money um, for sure. So super duper good. Then we have this mascara that I got from my friend in the UK. It's This is the, oh my god, what is the brand of this? It's gonna say right here. This is the Posh, no not Poshmark, wow. This is the Primark mascara um, it's their False Lash Queen Mascara. I just don't really like the formula. I'm not a fan of the brush either itself. I just felt like it was too thick, too goopy, um, too wet at the same time too. And I have very floppy lashes. So even though I put on waterproof mascara, it would still weigh them down. And I tried this out a few times and I just, uh, it's just a no for me. It's definitely a pass. So there's that. Then I've got two products from Joa. This is the Joa Liquid Liner Waterproof. Um, I do really like this liner and it still has a little, it's almost at its very end. It's still kind of a little more on the dry side. Um, I've used it up to where it's pretty much done, but this is actually a really, really great liner. It does have one of those, um, not a brush tip, but more of like a, what is this called? Like a, I don't know, a foam tip, whatever that is. You know it is what I'm talking about. Um, but definitely is a really good eyeliner if you've ever been wanting a waterproof one. Joa you can find at CVS, and it is a K-Beauty brand. And then we have the Joa Lash Up Rise Waterproof Mascara Volumi Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. This right here is a dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara. I will tell you that for sure because I will open up this one and they practically almost they have the same wand can you see that they have the same wand like almost the exact same shape except i think this one's just a little bit bulkier um and i'm gonna be honest i think i like this formula 10 10 times better than i like this one um because it's like in the in between it's not like too wet not or it's not too wet it's not too dry it's like right in the in between and it's like half or like $10 cheaper than this one. I think this is like $13 and this is like $28. So like, you know what I mean? Um, although the packaging on this one is a little bit more heavier and this one's a little bit more on the lighter side, but I definitely think now that I've tried out both of these um, and knowing this, I will probably repurchase this one over this one, I'm just saying. Unless I can find this on sale, then that's probably the reason why I would repurchase this one. But I just got this last month, so we're still good. We're still good on that one. But if you've ever wanted to get a really good waterproof mascara and you want the dupe for the Better Than Sex one, pick that one up for sure. Then last but not least in here, well, I guess there's one more product in here. This is the Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. This is also the waterproof one. Now this is supposed to be also the, the dupe for that one um, and the drugstore version, but by L'Oreal. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of this one. Not a fan of it. I thought I remember liking it in the beginning when it first came out, but now that I've tried this one and also compared it to the original one, 
it's it's not really that close of a dupe. The Joa one's way better than this one is. So I would definitely just say skip this. Um, just skip it. I don't think it's uh, I think that's I don't think it's truly a dupe. And then I do have a makeup sponge. So this is the uh, oh my god, what is this brand? The Juno and Co sponge. Sorry, makeup sponge. So I used to really love this. And then I've had this sitting in my collection for a while, and then I decided to use it again. And now I'm not so sure if I like it or not. I'm going to be honest. I like it when it has, no, I don't like the flat, um, the flat bottom. I like it more when it has the, um, the more rounded bottom. But also this is supposed to be like silicone-like. It's not supposed to absorb a lot of foundation. It's supposed to help out with actually you use less. But I just didn't feel like it applied my makeup that great unless I was supposed to pat it on this way and use this and maybe I just didn't use the sponge right. But I just, I don't like how, also it dried out really quickly too. Because you can use it wet or dry, but I liked using it wet and it just always felt very dry on the skin no matter even if it was, even though I washed it and it was wet. I just, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of this one at all anymore like I was when I was younger but again when I was younger everything felt like it was the best you know what I mean and now that I've become like more experienced in makeup I'm a little bit more on the pickier side so yeah there is that quickly before we get to the end of this video I actually missed a product it fell on the floor and it fell out and I definitely want to make sure I talk about this one this is the Kosas um, concealer in the shade 1.5 I can't see what it says revealer it is the super creamy bright brightening concealer so I actually really really love this concealer I used it to filth it is like dry out I can see the bottom I can't get any more out of it I definitely think in the future I'm going to actually purchase the full size but I purchased the travel size um, first because or the sample size you could say just because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not and I know this is supposed to be like again a brightening concealer but it's like super creamy I need anything that is like more hydrating for me but also sometimes I crease underneath my eyes when it comes to concealer so I don't know if I'm using the wrong right concealer or wrong concealer because I don't really I don't know I think I'm supposed to be using a creamy concealer because I have more dry skin but I've also heard that if you crease underneath your eyes and you need to use more of a mattifying concealer so that it actually sets better and it doesn't move and it doesn't crease if you guys know what I mean I mean it makes sense the math is mathing there um, but I need to experiment more because the majority of all my concealers that I've ever purchased are more on the creamy side so or hydrating side if you know what I mean so yeah, I wanted to make sure I talked about this product before we ended the video, um, just because if you've ever been wanting to try this, just wanted to give you my final thoughts about it. So there is that. So that is everything that was in the bin, guys. We are done. That is all of my trash for this month. So if you learned something, or if you got some feedback from me about some of the products that you like or that you don't like, or maybe some products that you were curious about wanting to try and you decided to be like, nah, better not. Um, let me know in the comments down below or are there any products that you have recently gone through or have it didn't finish because you didn't like them let me know in the comments down below do we have some similarities and thoughts when it comes to products do we have um, you know similarities when it comes to skincare all that kind of stuff just let me know in the comments down below I need to know what you're purchasing what you're not purchasing what you like what you don't like um, because maybe we're on the same vibes when it comes to products so I thank you guys so much for being here and again I will see you guys in the next one before we do that you guys know that just if you like videos like this then this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to and don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me your girl Cinder D and I'll see you in the next one bye